Crafts with Haven from Tweet Trends. Hey there, welcome back. So the last video I did, I was with my mini me on my sorority's Founders Day when we decided to create some brown bag paper dolls. And this was what we ended up with. And here's some video of what that was like when we did these. Um, I was really excited that she was so into this and wanted to put them on display. She wanted everybody to see it. So I thought that was really awesome. And in that video, I gave you a little teaser. I said that I was going to be making a doll of my daughter. And that's why she's not with me today because I'm kind of going to surprise her. So I've got this much time before she probably realizes that she hasn't seen me milling around the house and decides to start looking for me. So let's go ahead and get started. A friend of mine gave her a magnetic doll set. And I don't know, you just still have all the pieces in here, but it's the clothes and everything. I'll even pull it out. She's got some cute little dresses and, oops, and shoes with socks and different things like that. And I thought this was really cute. And then the wheels started turning and I'm like, you know what? I can do that. I can make one of these dolls. To do this, what you're gonna need is a picture, preferably on your smartphone where you can change the size of it and everything. You don't want your, in, your picture in the end to be any bigger than eight and a half because you know paper is eight and a half by 11. And so what I did was I took a picture of her. This right here is just a photocopy of the picture. I did not use the actual picture in doing this and cut it out. And you can see in comparison to the girl, uh, let's see if I put the girl on top of her the girl still fits within that eight and a half inch range. So if I line her up at the bottom, you see there's only about, so maybe the girl is about seven and a half inches tall. So then my daughter's little design is about six and a half inches tall. So you can see there's a little bit on her feet and a little bit on her head. But all I did, and I, I'll talk about this part later, but I took the picture had it printed, and then because I used my smartphone, I was able to print it straight from there. I didn't have to go and get it processed and then get it home and then photocopy. I didn't have to go through all of that. Went straight from my phone to my computer, printed it out, and then taped it onto a regular sheet of paper. Now, from there, what I did, before I actually taped it onto the paper, I'm gonna untape it right now so you can see. I took her image and I put it behind the paper and then I put it up to a window because I don't have a light box. But if you have a light box, then you're good to go. You just put it on top. And I was able to trace around her body. So what I've done here is I've made a capsule wardrobe for her, her paper doll. I've got a t-shirt, some shorts, a sleeveless shirt, a skirt, some shoes and socks, or maybe just socks. I haven't figured out what I want to do with that yet. A long sleeve top, long sleeve pants, a little wintry type hat, a hair bow, and this is actually supposed to be a hair a visor. But I, I traced all of those according to this. And you might not be able to see, but I put little marks here that indicated where the edge of the paper was just so that I could keep it in line as I was tracing it because I was literally doing this up against our sliding glass door. So then I taped my original piece down to the paper. So then I had her and the drawings and I used some magnetic paper. 
So this is Pro Mag Magnet Paper. It came with three sheets in it. But they're eight and a half by 11 size sheets. And all I had to do was put my original sheet in on top of the printer. And then I put my magnet sheet into my print my paper tray. Now make sure you know which way you have to put your paper in your paper tray to make sure that it prints on the paper side. Now this isn't peelable paper. So this isn't the type of magnetic sheets where you would maybe stick the magnet onto something else. These two are already stuck together. So when you print this out, then now I have created a magnet just like this girl. Just like she's got her paper on top and her magnet on the back, I've got the same thing here. Instead, I'm going to use some tissue paper and a glue stick. And in using my glue stick and my tissue paper, I'm going to actually make her clothes with this. I didn't want to use liquid glue because tissue paper is so delicate and if you get too much of the glue on it, it's gonna change color and get all crinkly and messy and whatnot. I don't wanna have to go through that. So I'm using my glue stick to actually make her clothes. So from here, once you get it printed out onto your magnet, you're gonna cut out around her body but when I actually cut these out, I'm going to separate the top from the bottom. So then she can have an interchangeable out, interchangeable outfits. So before I cut out my daughter from the magnet paper, I decided I was going to laminate her, cheap lamination. I used my two inch clear packing tape and just basically put a strip right on top of her. You can see where I did that before I cut her out. And make sure when you lay your tape, you go from the center and wipe outward, or you go from the top and wipe down. And that's just to keep any air bubbles from getting underneath it or getting any crinkles or wrinkles, anything like that. But now that I've done that, I've basically preserved our doll. So there you have it. I'm so excited. Now she has a little friend. It's like a little sister. Um, one tip about taking the picture that I wanted to make sure I just kind of put out there is that when you take your picture as the adult, you don't want to be standing up shooting your camera image down at your child because then you're going to get a perspective type picture and whatever is closest to you and the camera, that's gonna be the biggest. So in that case, her head would have been bigger and her feet would have been really, really tiny. So what you wanna do is you wanna get down on their level and shoot directly on, as direct on as you can. You don't want to be at any type of an angle because angles like that is gonna distort the proportions and um, they may not like their little doll if it looks like the doll has a really big head or really big feet or little baby feet or anything like that okay so still making some progress here what i've done is i've used my glue stick and little squares of my tissue paper and basically just stuck the squares on top and so now my next move is to cut out the outfits Okay, so I have cut out the outfits and as you see right now, I have them taped to my piece of tape that I'm going to use to laminate them. I couldn't put the tape on it first because I had the rough squares around each uh, just placed on top and I still needed to cut the edges. So this time around, I am I cut the majority of it. Like as you can see though, here in the pants, I didn't cut the space out in between the legs yet. And so now I have that to cut out. And let me show you something else. And I, 
I got this because I knew I was gonna do this particular activity and I'm all about everything having a place. I need all my stuff to have a place. So now my girl, I can put her on here. But so this, because it has a top and everything, I'm gonna use this to keep all of the pieces in. So now my last step is just to cut out these outfits and I'll be done and then I can do the big unveiling. All right, well, I am done. Time for the unveiling. I've stuck all of the pieces on the back of this um, tin. But here we go, my paper doll, my little baby. So, and like I said, so this is her, her capsule wardrobe and all of these pieces and even her other little doll friend, they can actually be kept inside and don't have to worry about losing pieces. One, because it's a magnet and it's gonna stick to the container, but two, it has a top. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and um, I don't know what the next one's going to be. So just keep an eye out. Who knows? Where are you? I'm right here. Well, I'm right here. Come in here, please. Okay. I got something for you. It's in that box. I don't see anything in the box. Okay. I only see well, hold on. a snowflake. Okay. You only see a snowflake in there? Oh, you're right. There's only a snowflake in there. Well, maybe look on the back, maybe. <laughs> that's me. Yeah, that's you. Do you like it? Yes, and I like how you drew the socks. Yeah, because every now and then your feet get cold, so I figured you needed some <laughs> socks. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> that's red and white. What do you know? <laughs> I love it. I think you should make some shoes too. Some shoes? Okay, that, maybe that'll be my next task to make some shoes. Summer Headed beach. to the beach. <laughs> and at home. For sometimes. For sometimes. Already? Here I've got it all packaged up and ready to go. Thanks for joining me.